everyone, welcome back to Play Procrastination Population 377, and today let's talk about the exciting possibility of a new evolution coming to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee in November. Now, before we get too far into this video, I do want to put a nice little disclaimer up that this is not confirmation yet, it's purely speculation. I don't want you clicking on this video, thinking it's true, and then being like, oh, Super Rod, he baited me. It's not, I'm not a fisherman. Uh, so I don't want you to think that going into this video, uh, but we did get a little hint, a little teaser, a little something along those lines that is making a lot of people think that a new evolution may be coming to the world of Pokemon sooner rather than later. Um, so for those of you guys, personally I think it is going to be a new evolution. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what we're talking about, this morning Pokeshopper.com on Twitter tweeted out this lovely image right here showing some awesome, for those of you guys who don't know, Pokeshopper sells a lot of Pokemon merchandise, and they tweeted out this lovely image earlier today with the caption, Pokeshopper update, new Pokemon official stained glass ball evolution chains to be released September in Japan by SKJ. Note that the 10 listed include a secret, which is to be shown next month. And as you can see, obviously in that bottom right corner, we have a pendant that is completely blacked out with a question mark over top of it with no name underneath it either, also replaced with question marks, uh, which is leading a lot of people to believe that this could potentially be a new evolution. Obviously we have Eevee in the top left corner followed by every evolution in chronological order up to this point, so it would make logical sense that this would be the next one. As you can see, a lot of people, myself included, if I'm an Eevee fan, a lot of people are freaking out about this, and rightfully so. I personally have thought we were gonna get a new evolution um, since just about the day they announced Pokemon Let's Go Eevee uh, and Let's Go Pikachu. As you guys remember in the trailer, at the very end they, they show the little gift box shaking. I don't even know if I can put that video up because Nintendo will probably slice it down, but uh, you guys may remember at the end of that trailer you see the little, peak, uh, the little box shaking at the very end and they tease that you'll meet a very special Pokemon in this game and as we got a little bit further uh, at the conference actually before E3 the Nintendo conference uh, where they talked a little bit more about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee uh, they talked with the creators and asked them are we gonna be seeing any new Pokemon in this game and I believe their answer was yes you will see one never before seen Pokemon in this game and I can go back I got I literally have group chats dedicated to Pokemon. I'll go back to that group chat. I guarantee I have a message there where I said, I guarantee this is going to be a new evolution because Eevee is one of the stars of the games. Even though I don't know if you're, that you're gonna be able to evolve that Eevee, Eevee is still one of the stars of the games. Pikachu and Eevee, it has to be a new evolution. It just made sense back then. So I've been holding on to hope that we were getting a new evolution ever since then. And this for me, again, I'm not taking it as confirmation, but oh, the hopeful, optimistic side of me, it's gotta be a new evolution. So, let's get the pessimistic side out first. There is a possibility that this image is not teasing a new evolution, as some people are pointing out. Um, it could very possibly, uh, what a lot of people are saying, uh, as you can see, I'll put the image back up again, underneath all of the uh, the the pendants you have the little banner that are all different colors the colors Don't necessarily Correlate to the, the Pokemon they're under as is in the case of Umbreon You would expect that to be like a darker like a, I would expect it to be a black background but for some reason it looks more like a fighting type background uh, But they're different as you can see every single one is different a lot of people are saying that the banner underneath this new hidden Pokemon is the same color as Eevee's. Now, this could mean it's an Eeveelution that's just a normal type, just a regular old evolution for Eevee, but what a lot of people are thinking is, what if this is just, you know, Eevee wearing Ash's hat, Eevee, etc., to, to correlate with the Pokemon Let's Go games. It's a pendant based on those, Eevee with a haircut, Eevee with yada, yada, yada. What if it's just Eevee? Um, again, I think that's a very pessimistic way to look at things, maybe a realistic way to look at things. I think it's a little pessimistic, I've also taken the image into Photoshop and compared the two colors, and it's 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 tough to compare them because there's there's a gradient on them, so the the color changes depending on where you click it. But from what I can see in Photoshop, they are different colors, slightly different but different. The one in the bottom right to me is actually a little bit lighter 
uh, a lighter orange color than the one on the top left. It's essentially, to, to me, it's like the difference between um, Espeon and um, Sylveon. They're, they're both pink, but you have a little bit of a darker, more hot pink underneath the Sylveon than you do on the Espeon. So, to me, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're uh, the exact same. Some other people are saying, what if it's just like a, a nice, large, you know, culmination of all of them, Eevee in the middle with all of the ones around it. That's a possibility, but keep in mind that these are made of painted stained glass, and that amount of detail on something that small would be extremely difficult in my opinion, so I don't think it is that. Again, I want to get the, that, that side out, Do you know, because it is a possibility. I don't want to just hype you up and be like, yeah, we're definitely getting an evolution. There's a possibility it's just an Eevee. There's a possibility, I think I saw some comments saying, what if it's a, a Pikachu dressed as an Eevee? I would throw up from cuteness, but I, I really would rather have an Eevee Lucian. So that's a possibility as well. But I am firmly in the camp that we're gonna be getting a new Eevee Lucian. So I kind of wanted to take a little bit of time now that you guys, obviously this is pretty much the news we have. There's been no more confirmation since then. Uh, what I'm excited about is that in the tweet itself, it says the sequel will be shown next month, which might mean in a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee teaser, we're gonna see that new Eevee Lucian. Uh, and so I wanted to take the rest of time in this video with you guys um, to speculate about what kind of type this Eevee could be. Now, this isn't just going to be like a random, you know, speculation. We're actually going to take this image and take a look at this pendant and try to get some ideas from just the pendant itself about what type of Pokemon this could possibly be. Uh, so if you guys have any, first of all, yeah, please comment down below if you're excited, hyped about a possibility of a new evolution because I know I am. And also let me know if it, if there is in fact a new evolution, what type do you A, want this evolution to be and B, think this evolution is going to be? Because I know what I, I know what type I want this evolution to be, but I don't really there's no guarantee that it's gonna be exactly what I want. You know, I'll just go ahead and say right now, I would love a Steel Type EV. Steel Type EV I've been wanting for the longest time, but I don't think the aesthetic of this pendant doesn't really give me a steel or a metal vibe, so I don't think it's going to be a Steel Type EV. So, uh, let's start with what I said a little bit earlier, which is the colors between uh, the original EV, the banner underneath, and this pendant are very similar. Uh, which is leading some people to believe that it could just be a straight up normal type Eevee Lucian. Just Eevee going through adolescence, reaching an adult phase essentially. Rather than going to all these other types, Eevee just stays a normal type uh, and gets an evolution. And as majestic as I think that would look, it's a possibility. Um, the, the, the outline itself does look kind of normal. It essentially looks uh, a bit like a ribbon. Uh, if you've ever gotten like a, if you've been to like the county fair, I'm from the country, so if you've ever been to like a county fair and they put the little best in show ribbons on the, on the greased pigs, I, I've never been to a county fair, so I'm, 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 uh, lying a little bit, but you put these ribbons on the things, it's got the little ribbon tails at the bottom as well as a little ribbon outline. Now, I, if, if Sylveon didn't exist, I would have thought this was a fairy type. It seemed with the bow and the, the ribbon, it seemed more fairyish. but since we already have a fairy type, it can't be a fairy type, you would think. Um, a normal type would make sense. That's kind of normal-ish, nothing too crazy there, so it's a possibility there's a possibility it's just an evolution to Eevee that's going to stay the normal type. Another possibility, as I said, the color is a little bit lighter than the normal type Eevee, I think. I, like I said, I brought it into Photoshop. It looks different. So we have the possibility the closest type it could be that color could match up to would be the fighting type. We could get a fighting type Eevee. And again, um, that could make sense for the ribbon as well, because if you think about it, you have fighting contests. Now, they don't give you a ribbon at the end. They'll typically give you a trophy, but a ribbon and a trophy are kind of similar. So what if it's the possibility of this being, you know, some sort of heavyweight belt or ribbon or championship and boom, the, the correlating fighting type Eevee would emerge. Uh, as a thing. Now, that's not necessarily guaranteed because, as I said, the the colors underneath, the, uh, the colored banners underneath the pendants don't necessarily match up to their types. Most of the time they do. Uh, Flareon, you got a, uh, an orangish red one. Vaporeon, you have a blue one. Jolteon, you have a yellow one. Uh, Leafeon, you got a green one. But underneath Umbreon, that's the one that's throwing me off. Maybe they just did it to make the whole image kind of bright and putting a black background there would have been, you know, a little off-putting, but Umbreon is a dark type and I feel like they should have had a darker image there than the color they chose. So 
That does break the pattern though, so it's not necessary uh, that all of the, the the colors match up to the type. So even though this color is probably closest to a fighting type, there's no guarantee that it actually is going to match up to that. They could have also just changed the color to whatever they want to throw us off, so always think about that too. When they're teasing stuff like this, they don't want to give away too much. Um, another type, this, this kind of goes along with the EV. Uh, not a theory, but a fun little back of the hand or back of the napkin. I don't know what phrase you want to use uh, a rule of thumb that people used in first second and third generation to remember the physical and special split for those of you guys who don't remember back in those games for whatever reason individual moves were not determined on the physical or special side entire types were so everything of the water type no matter or let's go with fire type because that's easier everything of the fire type whether it was flamethrower or fire punch which sounds like it'd be physical was special Special. And the way people remembered that was all of the evolutions plus dragon are special, the rest are physical. Obviously, fairy type didn't exist back then, um, but water, fire, electric, psychic, dark, grass, ice, and dragon were all on the special side of things, while every other type was on the physical. So, going off of that theory, the one missing type that could finally solve that up, instead of having to say all the evolutions plus dragon, if we just wanted to say all of the evolutions were special back then, they could give us a dragon type Eevee, which is probably my number two most excited behind steel type Eevee. I want a steel type Eevee the most, but that's a possibility too. And again, the ribbon, the best in show, you could totally see um, a best in show Eevee being the dragon type. Dragon is kind of regarded as the penult the ultimate type of Pokemon. And so wouldn't that be the type of Pokemon deserving of a ribbon? I think so. So it's a possibility. Um, the final type that I could see it being that I, this is what the first thing that kind of jumped out at me is the outline of the of the, the pendant itself. I, again, I think it's a ribbon. I think it's a ribbon and a bow and like a uh, like like I said like a best in show ribbon. But it could also potentially be a cloud. It's kind of cloudish. Now we see a cloud underneath Eevee, which is way more fluffier than this cloud would be. Um, so. It's possible that it's a cloud, and a cloud would obviously correlate to a flying type EV, uh, which would be kind of cool as well. But the, the more and more I, I looked at it and thought about it, I don't think that one makes as much sense, but it is still potentially a possibility. I honestly, right now, I, I really want the dragon theory to be true, but I don't think it's going to be. They're probably going to go for something a little bit cuter. Um, so I am personally in the camp of a fighting type evolution right now, though I am not 100% sure I could be persuaded wrong, but I really hope it's not. I know that in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, they've introduced this new uh, haircut system. You can get your Pokemon with a haircut. I'm really, really hoping that it's not just an Eevee with a haircut. If they have contests in this game and then... This ribbon is, a, again, a best-in-show ribbon. Congrats, you won a contest. Your Eevee has a cool haircut. I really, really hope it's not just an Eevee with a haircut, but I'm, you know, the possibility is there, so it's okay if it is, but I'm really, you can tell I'm very excited. I'm really hoping for a new Eeveelution here. Obviously, no confirmation yet. This is purely speculation, but again, please leave in the comments down below what type of Eevee, if this is an Eeveelution, do you hope it is? What do you think it's going to be? What if, if I miss anything, please let me know because I think I've gathered all of the information that is available to us, but I'm always looking for more. So if anything comes out, you can absolutely know that I will bring a video to you Again, in a month when they reveal this secret, I'm going to be pretty excited about it. So, fingers crossed for a new evolution. No guarantees yet, but I am... Oh, man, am I hoping. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.